Hey, what is going on pros and press? It's Mr. Lyman HD here, and welcome to another drinks review. Before I start, if you want to save 10% discount on X Gamer products, don't forget to use code Mr. Lime. Or if you want to save 10% discount on Excite Energy products, don't forget to use code by Elliot. Both will be in the description below. So, today we're reviewing a Boost's new iced coffee, and today this one will be on the full-bodied double espresso. So I got this particular drink out of a random corner shop, and it cost me price marked one pound which is which is a bit more expensive than you'd probably say to pay for like a boost drink because most of the boost drinks which are all up there they're generally around 50p for a can or uh, i think they're more like 70p for a bigger can but we'll let them off it's still not too bad for a coffee drink um because the kind of other iced coffee drinks in the supermarket and stuff can go for kind of a uh, go for a bit more but uh, as soon as it's boost we're interested to see how this double espresso goes. So there is also a cafe latte one of this, a latte one of this. I'll put the link to that in the description below as well. So let's take a closer look of the can. So we have a really kind of cool looking can design. I've always kind of liked how or liked how Boost have done their can design. So we have kind of like this nice mixture of browns, dark brown, light brown. We have kind of these swells going on here. We have little pictures of coffee beans there and there to make it look cool and then kind of like a dark really dark brown behind that on the back we have just the ingredients and stuff more swells more coffee beans the ingredients and everything like that as well on the bottom we have nothing and on the top everything is the standard and silver including the pull ring so taking a close look so i say it says full body not sure what that actually means and it's got with milk at the bottom so of course it's got milk in it um so reading a uh, reading the back of the can we have a little description so <clears throat> Enjoy our full-on double espresso coffee hit, rich and dark, the perfect iced coffee kick. So yeah, double espresso coffee milk drink made from skimmed milk sterilised. So apart from that, not much, not much else on the can now because of that. Caffeine content is 60 milligrams per 100 ml. You probably think that's an awful lot, but remember, this isn't an energy drink; it's a coffee drink. And the coffee, the cold coffee drinks, generally seem to have more caffeine than in them anyway. Even like the cold coffee ones like buy the milk and stuff in the supermarket they've all got more caffeine than any drinks do anyway but whether it makes actually any difference well no and it's interesting because it's annoying because everyone says energy drinks have got so much caffeine yet people have me drink these cold coffees which are the same size and they've got more caffeine so what can you do uh so yeah 60 milligrams the average for energy drink so it's generally 32 so it's, it's double pretty much of what an energy drink is uh, please recycle me. Thumbs up. Supports local shops. Yep. Sugar content is 8.3 grams per 100 ml. So that's quite high on the sugar. But I... I... Sometimes it depends. Sometimes you don't know how much sugar is in these. But we will find out. Uh, let's see. Protein uh, per can. 7 grams. Let's see. A perfect blend. So it's got skim meal, coffee, preparation... Uh, any other interesting stuff? Nope, nothing really interesting in here. Uh, shake gently before use. Ooh. Shaking drinks does not go well when I review drinks. But anyways, let's, uh, yeah, nothing else on the can. I've got my Mr. Lyman HD review cup, so let's go straight into it. Hopefully it will, won't explode over me. Now, it does shake gently, so I am going to shake it gently. And uh when I actually reviewed the latte one of this, I didn't actually shake it. I didn't actually see that on the can. So I was maybe meant to shake that as well. But it, it, yeah, I think that's enough gently shaking. So yeah, hopefully it won't explode over me now. So I'm guessing the colour is going to be brown. It's going to be brown. If it's not, then I'll be really surprised. The smell and taste, well, we'll have to find out. This is going to explode. I can feel the freaking tension of it. Okay, that was close. It came flying out the top there. I can't really show you guys, but it came flying out. Yeah, flying out the lid there and there. There we go. Now, I can get a full one of these cans into the cup. So we'll pour it all in because this is going very quick, I'm assuming. I normally drink some out of the can as well, but it's too late now. So yeah, the colour is indeed just, yeah, it's just brown, really. Not really interesting, although, uh, 
I don't know, I'd say, yeah, it's not too dark and it's not too light either. It's just, you see, get me lighter to pick it up. It looks, I guess the light's looking a bit more lighter, but really it's, you know, it's, yeah, it's kind of just in the middle. So darkness wise, it's right in the middle. Thickness, we'll see in a second when it sticks to the glass. But of course, this isn't based on thickness. Really, they're not advertising, advertising it as thickness. And I couldn't really smell while pouring it out. So we'll give it a closer smell now. Yeah, it just smells of smells of coffee, really. Just it smells nice, but just doesn't smell sweet at all, which I guess is a good thing if you like more of a coffee taste than a than a than a sweeter taste. Okay, guys. Nevertheless, let's taste some. Okay. Hmm. So, okay, let's start off with the thickness then. So yeah, it's fairly sticking to the sides. It seems as it's not going to be that thick. It, it's fairly sticking, so quite impressed with that for what it is. So, I won't spoil the latte one of this for you, but this is totally different to the latte one. This, so, basically this one is, if you prefer more of a coffee taste rather than, say, more of a sweeter taste, then you're definitely gonna like this one. This has got much more of a, that nice roasted coffee flavor, which you'd expect with these drinks. Now, with some of the, before I go into further detail, some of the, uh, what do you call it? Some of the cold coffee drinks you get with the, by the milk and stuff, you know, by the, by the milk section in the supermarket. Some of them can be kind of really sweet or just kind of really processed and really this or really that. And uh, sometimes they're like really sugary and this and that. Even though this has got 8.3 grams of sugar, how much, 21 grams of sugar in total, there is like no hint of sugar in there whatsoever. Now, yes, maybe if it didn't have that 21 grams of sugar, it would be even more stronger a coffee, even more bitter or, or whatever, which I, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but sometimes if, it, if the coffee flavor is too strong, then it's not nice. With this, they've got a really perfect blend with it. So even though they've got the sugar inside of the drink, it just doesn't taste sweet. You can't taste the sugar, and it just you won't even think it's got sugar in it to be honest with you. Like I drink it, and I think, okay, this doesn't seem like it's got 21 grams of sugar in it at all. But the, the kind of that espresso flavour isn't super super strong, and you know there's no weird flavours. There's no weird flavors there's no weird aftertaste or anything like that you just you drink it you get a nice medium good reasonable coffee espresso flavor kind of throughout the drink and then you kind of get a little bit in the aftertaste and that's it really there's nothing i could say about it it's yeah it, it's quite smooth and it's a and it's, it's a little bit little bit thick you know it's not runny water it's a little bit thick for what it is uh but yeah that's actually Quite nice, guys, for what that is. Um, obviously, as it's being boost, it's obviously not an energy drink. And if you took off the Boost logo, then it would just be another iced coffee, basically, wouldn't it? Because let's be honest, Boost is just a brand. And, you know, it's it's basically just a nice coffee. It's like Monster or something saying, you know, their coffee ranges. It's like, okay, well, it's not actually... What's the original, is it? So, but that's not a bad thing. I'm just saying it's like, well, it's nice to see kind of the more corner shop type brands doing it rather than the big, you know, Monster Rebel doing their kind of coffee drinks, Rockstar, stuff like that. So quite impressed from Booster, especially for the, you know, the price, because you can pay a lot more for the cold coffee drinks in the supermarkets or even if it's like the, even like the Monster Coffees drink. They can be quite expensive. And I have done the Coffee Monster drinks. They're up there somewhere. Um, in fact, I'll actually put a link to them in the description below, the uh, Coffee Monster drinks as well. You can go watch them and see my verdict on them. And, you know, they were, they were totally different level. But as far as I'm concerned, if that was in the little carton drink, buy the milk and stuff, then you, you literally wouldn't even know it's Boost. So what's the difference at the end of the day? It's just another cold coffee drink. But a nice one, and I would buy that again, definitely, along with the cafe latte, which again, I won't spoil it for you, but you can buy that again. But yeah, can't say anything else bad about that. So I'll give that a thumbs up, guys. Again, I, I can't try some out of the can because I poured it all into a cup, but you know, I guess it's probably better to drink 
cold coffee drink out of a glass rather than say the can and stuff but yeah definitely gets a thumbs up for me guys so as always thank you for watching and i'll see you all later